Yo, homegirl, you good? Uh, hopefully this will all be over soon. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Oh yeah, she does have her mouth closed the whole time. I should have been checking on them a long time ago. Teeth. Uh, are you going to make decisions based on teeth? Uh-oh. I've had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I ever been to one? God, I can't even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Oh, got some pearly whites, girl. <laughs> Definitely didn't see those teeth coming out of that face. Does that mean she's a visitor? Do I fit the description? That can't be. Oh my gosh, I'm about to shoot her too. I can't be a visitor, yes? You know what? Get him up out of here. We're shooting. Please, please don't. Oh my gosh. So apparently this game is supposed to be something like That's Not My Neighbor, the game that we played a few months ago where we're supposed to not let people in our house. But instead of us doing security at the front desk, this time I think it's our actual house and people are trying to get in here because the world is ending. So this should be interesting. So I just heard somebody knock at this front door. Let me um see if I can go and open any of these other doors first. Maybe we can do some exploring. Okay, we can't get in that door. We can't open up that window. Can't get in that door either. Okay, maybe we can't open any doors. Oh, bedroom door. Okay, so we can open up our bedroom door. We have a TV, a regular, looks like a full-size bed in here, and literally nothing else. I feel like I'm at like a summer camp or something. Yo, why can I not open any of these doors though? Don't I live here? I thought I own the place. Whoa, who is this guy? People from the cities already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. If they come to your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come, and who knows what's next. Oh, okay, so I get to ask questions. Yes, definitely ask questions, because this random guy just coming to my front door talking about doppelgangers are gonna be showing up. Yeah, I need to know some info. Is it safe outside? It's safe to look out the windows at night, and I even recommend it. That way you at least realize what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Is it better not to leave the house now? Let's summarize. There's gonna be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in and who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look in the windows. You don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight and tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon and we'll talk. Whoa, okay. It seems no one else will come tonight. That is so weird. Just this random guy popping up at your door talking about doppelgangers are gonna be coming and we don't know how to distinguish them. He said he's sleeping in my cabinet. I'm guessing that means sleeping in like uh, my, my outdoor, I don't know, garage or shed. I'm assuming that's what that means. I mean, should we take his warning seriously? I mean, he just showed up and like, kind of warned me out of nowhere. We don't even know who that guy is. Good morning, dear viewers. This the news? Yo, homie look like he could fix my computer in about two minutes flat. It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification. But they assure us there's no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. Oh, okay, so that let us know a lot. So people are probably transforming into these creatures because of too much sunlight. And maybe that's why they're ending up being a bunch of like doppelgangers and weird people. So maybe it's the sun. What are these little things up here? 
these little thunderbolts. I don't know what that is. You watch graceful ballerinas gliding across the stage performing beautiful pirouettes. Classical dance brings back warm childhood memories and makes you think of beautiful things. Um, okay. Do I get to go outside or should I like stay in the house? Oh, okay, it's bright outside now. There we go, I can start opening up doors now. The living room that has nothing on it but a, a Jesus piece. We definitely need that. There's no TV in this living room. This is definitely like a, just a sitting room. Go in there and stare at the wall. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's in my house! I didn't even know I opened the door for him. Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So think hard about who you want to talk to. And one more thing, checking people for signs of guests should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you talk to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. So I'm just supposed to sit around and survive? Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else, but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge I brought you to chill. It'll make you so sleepy. And wait for help. If they call an evac evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard that at night someone walks around asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. Okay, that's good to know. Why are you even in here, sir? Who let you in? Did you climb through the window? Because I do not remember opening the door for him. Okay, here's our mini kitchen. Oh, okay. Yeah, we only got one. So I only have one thing of energy left. So I just wasted a lot of energy just talking to that dude. Oh, brother. The pantry? Okay. Little storage pantry. And what is this? Bathroom? Yeah. All right. Guess we got a, just a regular house here. I wonder if I can open any of these. No, I cannot. And I can't look at the door. So I'm going to go drink this beer and it'll make me sleepy, I guess. Oh, I'm feeling drowsy from the beer. The best thing right now is to go to sleep. Yo, did homie just drug me? Because I thought it was morning time. He got me waking up, drinking a beer, and then going back to sleep. This is definitely not a healthy diet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a visitor. Who is it? Is he still in there? Oh, no. I can't open the door right now. He's going to lock himself in my house, and now I'm not going to be able to get him out. Whoa, Jared Leto, what are you doing at my house? Is my dad here? Can you call him? No, I don't have any phone in here, sir. Sorry, it wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Hmm, wait. Should I get his father's name? Wait, am I actually wasting dialogue or wasting energy while I'm talking to this kid? Or is that only the people that I let in my house? I'm not sure, let's, let's find out. What's your father's name? Did you forget his name? Oh, you're checking to see if I'm a visitor. You're smart, I'll start checking people now too. What? Are you afraid of visitors? I don't know. Everyone is scared of them. I'm scared of them too. I haven't seen one of them. Are they scary? Do they hurt? If my friend from school hit me hard, is he a visitor too? Daddy said to be careful. I'm very careful. I came here very quietly. No one saw me. Hmm. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm not letting him in that, that early. We just started this game. We're not letting him in that early. Um, I'm calling your dad for you. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you too. We go now. I'm scared to be out, outside alone at night. We're going to play a game. He made some kind of game where you have to roll dice and then walk on objects. I mean, like a chair or a couch. Wait, what? Like a chair or a couch? Is he playing the floor is lava or something? 
and then you have to build a road anyway. I'll show you later. Goodbye. Oh, okay, so that was really his dad? Yo, I thought he was a... Wait, somebody else here? I just heard knocking again, wait. Ugh! I was hiding in the pub, but I was kicked out. Why? Hmm, not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. What do you think? Will you let me in? Oh my good, Bro, why is this drunk dude pulling up at my crib? I don't know. I mean, did he bring a case of brew? I mean, maybe. Hmm. No, let me ask him if he's a visitor. You think I'm one of those monsters? Well, I mean, you are kind of built like a monster. Why is your torso so freaking long? Look at this guy. This dude is built like one of them freaking worms from Men in Black. No, I'm a, I'm no visitor, but asking everyone to their face about it is just crazy. Anyway, it'll be like that from now on. Hmm. Why do you think it will be different, uh, different here? So what, am I supposed to die under the sun now? No, homeowner, that's not for me. You know what, this dialogue, I can't really tell who's talking. I wish they would have put like visitor and my name or whatever my name is. So I can actually like use the voice of whoever's talking, but it sounds like all the same person. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep looking for someone to talk to and something to talk about. If you don't let me in, I'll find luck somewhere else. If there's any luck left in this new world, if not, everyone is a jerk. Yeah, you better leave. Get on up out of here, cuz. Hmm, I understand. I understand you, but I'm angry. You're just as much of a coward as everyone else here. Sleep well at night, homeowner, and fuck you. Yo, bro, how you gonna come on my porch talking mess to me? Just cuz you got kicked out of a bar. What do you think this is, bro? Homie thought this was the after hours pub or something? If you get kicked out of one, this ain't no bar hopping. <laughs> you gotta go. All right, somebody else just knocked on my door. It seems like they're coming like back to back. So we really won't have to waste too much time walking around. Oh, yo. Oh, what's that girl from, uh, is that Sally face? Sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV said it's better not to go out in the sun. Then why are you out here? <laughs> in a white tee. Is there any corner for me? Mm, you know what? Nah, she looks, her face looks like partial zombie. She's on her way out. She's about to turn into the walking dead pretty soon. I think the dude said you don't want to be alone. So I feel like eventually I'm gonna have to let somebody in, but I'm just not sure which person. Who are you? Mm, I used to live closer to the town. The asphalt heats up pretty intensity out here. Uh, I used to work as a cashier. Not anymore though. I got fired. Just didn't have any luck with work. Bro, I don't need any people that are just gonna freaking lay around in my house and not be, you know, productive. It sounds like you're pretty lazy and the way that you are leaning like this, it's like a partial Harlem shake or something. <laughs> I got fired, just didn't have any luck with the work. Okay, um, I'm gonna ask him, what are you gonna do now? Hmm, I try to survive somehow. It scares me, of course, with these visitors around and the sun blazing just like hell. I really want to live. <laughs> uh -uh. Ain't you scared? Please tell me it's going to be all right soon. Yeah, you got to go. You got to go. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want no lazy folks in my house. Because then you're going to be drinking up all my Kool-Aid, you know, watching my TV. I only got one TV, so I need you to get up out of here. Okay, I guess I'll move on then. Yeah, try the next house. Bro, it seems no one else will come in tonight. All right. Good, good, good. We didn't let anybody in the house tonight. That might be a good thing or that might be a bad thing, but everybody was, you know, giving me sketchy vibes. So let's go to sleep. And maybe we'll let somebody in tomorrow. I'm not sure. We interrupt you for our morning show. 
for an urgent message. Today at 6.28 a.m., there was a powerful solar energy eruption. This flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now, on to the news. Aliens? People emerging from underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. One witness encouraged a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. It turns out he was one of the, these visitors. Pay attention to their teeth. Ugh, bro, both of these look disgusting. <laughs> the people with the good teeth are actually the doppelgangers. The people with the bad teeth are us. <laughs> That's messed up. Yo, should I start doing like a reporter um voice for him? <laughs> All right, homie's gone. My house is actually empty now. I do have plenty of space in here, but okay, nobody's at the door yet. I'm not gonna drink any beer because it's only gonna make me tired. You would think drinking something would actually give me more energy, but maybe not. Oh my goodness. Grandma's carpet? Yo, we better not spill nothing on that because she gonna get mad. Hmm. Is that Marilyn Monroe? So I wonder how many people we can actually let in before this starts to get like crazy. I'm not sure if people actually come during the daytime. So maybe I have to drink the beer to feel tired to go to sleep so that people can knock on the door at nighttime. Okay, I think I'm getting I think I'm getting what this game is putting down. All right. We got another knock at the door. Look for the teeth, y'all. Look for the teeth. Let me tell you right away. I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find place? Peace at your place? Uh, let's ask how long has she been looking? Cause she looks like, um, she looks like somebody on like a missing poster or something who done left her hometown. How long have you been looking for a peaceful place? There's never been any peace for, what? Come on, dog. I don't know. Oh, man. So yeah, for a long time. Hmm. Let's see if she's okay with heat. I'm always feel cold. While some are burning up outside, I wrap myself in jackets and still feel cold. I'm scared to take off my clothes. It brings more suffering. And what if I can't die from it? Ah, we got a decision to make. So the heat is what changes them. And she's saying that she's always feels cold. So she could be immune, but wouldn't she have to have at least tried it without her coat to actually know if she's immune? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let her in? Let's let her in. We gotta let somebody in, right? We gotta let somebody in the house. She's not showing her teeth. So I can't really tell. All right, let's see. Thank you. The ceiling is a bit low here, but I'll be fine. Are you gonna disrespect my grandma my house like that? Who's this? Yo, no. <laughs> How unfortunate we are. We've witnessed firsthand the consequences of human passion. Why is he smirking like that? Look like Jack Black, but like way worse. But a way longer mouth. The earth will be cleansed. The sun will do its work. And we will go to a new clean world. That's the fucking good news. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what? What are you doing, human? Listen to me. I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns us for a reason. It bakes sin out of us. We've all done our sorts of things, and now the sun is angry. Gives his hit to us, and that's a good thing. All our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. Ah, okay, so is he a doppelganger? I think he is, because you just called me human. Mm, what's gonna happen to you then? What's it got to do with me? We're all gonna live well right after the sun helps. The sun will just help us get rid of all this stuff, you know? No? 
You understand everything. That's why you're alive. Nah, you gotta get up out of here. I'm not letting him in. Did you pretend you didn't know anything about the sun? Well, fuck you in. I'll save someone else. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yo, why did Kung Fu Panda just pull up to my front door like that? Not gonna lie, if I would've let him in, he probably would've been in here chefing it up. Would've had some good smells coming from that kitchen. I ain't even gonna front. He looked like he would be like better than Chef Boy RD. Too bad we are the witness. Maybe we are participants too. Um, do you need anything, sir? No, thanks. Everything I need is already there. And what I don't have, you can't help me with. Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read a line. Yo, what is he talking about, fam? That's how you look at it? What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Yo, does he have like a Bible in his backpack or something? What is he trying to tell me right now? Oh, maybe he's gonna give me some info on like what's going on. Let's see. The dead will come and tell and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. It seems no one else will come tonight. Okay. So I did let one person in and I don't know what room she's in. There's not very many rooms to choose from. Is she in my bed? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let me do my, uh, my morning news uh, voice. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal. And experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to the situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, Visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Pay attention to their nails. Black nails. Maybe they just into like gothic stuff. They just like all black. I mean, or maybe she been like digging in her butt or something. Employees encountered a woman who worked as a nurse. For unknown reasons, she had dirt under her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA members or call the hotline at 0451. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to other news. Y'all like my news voice? Terrible, right? Terrible. <laughs> Okay, so we do have one person in our house. Oh, is that her? The way she's kind of like sitting underneath the cross, looking like she's going through some things. Something about that don't sit right with me. I don't know. I don't know. We, we, we just gonna have to, I'm gonna leave her alone. Nobody's in the rest of our house. All right, who we letting in? Who we letting in? Let's go. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm supposed to go talk to her, right? Let's see if she uh, needs anything. I wish there was some warmth. I thought she liked it cold. Um, how do you recognize a visitor? Humans who have absorbed the anger of thousands of years, they are our reflection, our antipodes, whatever that means, whom we would never want to see or know. But there they are, and now we have to put up with them somehow. Okay. Hmm. That's what she tells me? All right, I gotta save my energy. I still got four energy bars. I'm drinking daily beers. Hold on, it's nighttime. Ah, oh, I can't open the door at night. I wonder why. Wouldn't that be the best time to find out if they're doppelgangers? 
for victims. Whoa. Why are you here? How's it going here? Is everything okay? Um. Uh, why are you ignoring my question, sir? Listen, eh? Are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some. Drive me some away. Uh, wait. Oh, why did I forget that quickly? Was I supposed to tell him that? Wait, wait. I'm not supposed to tell him that I'm alone, right? I have other people taking shelter here. How come? It's hard to be alone. What's wrong with you? Come with me, young man. Oh, wait. No one will know what happened when the last guest arrived. The house is left unoccupied for a long time. Wait, I went with the dude? Why? Why'd I do that? Uh-oh. The house is left unoccupied for a long time. Uh-oh, what does that mean? What happened? I got a black screen. I don't see anything. Oh, wait. What just happened? Oh, did I lose? Did I lose because he left the house? Or did the game just freeze right there and bring me back to the main menu? Yeah, not sure what happened, but I uh, guess we'll... People from the cities have already started coming to the neighbors. Oh, okay. So I guess we... We're starting over, I guess. I think we're gonna do it different this time. We're going to start letting people in just to see what happens when I let them all in. I'm about to have a house full up in here. Um, are you sure there won't be any trouble with you? What do you mean by troubles, homeowner? Murder and fights are against my soul, but I let no harm come to myself. What I like is eating and drinking and talking in a good mood. Is that a problem? Mm, that, I don't know if that's a good idea because he might drink my beer and he's gonna try to talk to me a lot, which might waste a lot of my energy. But who cares? We're letting him in. Why did they kick you out of your last shelter? I was thinking to tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. There were all sorts of weirdos. When I think about it, maybe it was for the best that they kicked me out. Those would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. All right, let him in. Thanks. Trusting people nowadays is worth no more than a coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. All right. I can't promise anything. Ah, oh, man, this is <laughs> this is gonna be a bad idea. <laughs> Letting everybody in. This is about to be a bad idea, bro. Oh, this girl looks like she's on drugs. Oh my goodness. She's gonna be in the bathroom laid over the toilet. I just know it. Sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV said it's better not to go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? How did you get here? I didn't really intend to come yet. The asphalt is already melting under my feet, but it's not that bad here yet. It will make you laugh. I've gotten visitors in my house, huh? Can you imagine? They kicked me out of my own house. Now I'm wandering around looking for somewhere to hide from the sun. Um, hmm. What are you going to do now? Hmm, I'll try to survive somehow. It scares me, of course, with these visitors around and the sun blazing like just hell. I really want to live. <laughs> Please tell me it's going to be all right soon. All right. Come on in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, really. Oh, God. I'll live one more day. Yeah, but I might not messing with you. All right, so we let two people in, and I'm not allowed to let anybody else in. And how much energy? Oh, I've wasted all my energy today. I can't see what they're doing until the morning. Yo, oh, man, this is going to be interesting. I need to know what happens when you let them all in. All right, this is the message about the teeth, and we've already, yep, we've already saw this part. All right. Next. 
living room. Oh, okay. Yo, why homie sitting like a girl? Yo, this must be the thinking room because every time somebody in here, they just look like they going through it. Like a whole depression. Let me close that. Oh, wait, let me talk to him actually. Yeah, did you want something? Um, How do you recognize a visitor? I know no more than you. Visitors can be identified by perfectly white teeth. This is fucking bullshit. They just want us to kill each other. And it's not clear why. Mm, okay, so I got... That wasted one of my energies. Where's homegirl at? Guarantee you she's in the bathroom. Guarantee it. Not in the kitchen. Guarantee it, watch! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yo! Why is she laid up against the wall in the pantry, bro? I ain't gonna lie, that look like a spot where she might get some good sleep at. I ain't even gonna front. Uh, hopefully this will all be over soon. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's the same question that I gotta ask both of them. What do you know about cataclysm? Uh, oh, 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 I don't even know what to say. I decided to look out the window and I wish I hadn't looked out there. The sun just burnt some kids. I don't want to die from the burning sun so badly. I'd rather die a quick and painless death than die from the sun in agony. Wait, what? I mean, if you want to go outside, you can go outside, player. I mean, I ain't keeping you here. I don't want to be burned to death. I don't know. It's only going to get worse. I know it. We're all gonna die. Yo. Oh girl, you bringing real negative energy into my house. I ain't even asked you to do all that. I'm sorry, I'm very worried. I don't know why she's talking about the sun outside because I keep my AC on 68, homegirl. I don't know what you're talking about. It's cold up in here, I'm shivering. I feel like a polar bear right now. We living good. AC on froze. My wrist ain't on froze, but my AC is. So it uses up two uh, things of energy from the from drinking the beer? Or can I use up all my energy until it's down to one and then I drink the beer? Or can I use all my energy, then drink the beer and then wake up like refreshed with like a bunch of energy bars? I'm not sure if the energy like carries over into the next day, I don't know. Whoever's been paying attention to that so far, let me know in the comments. We got a knock at the front door. Who could be at my door this late? Let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? No, I'm not a visitor, but there's something I will ask of you later. I'm not sure yet. Um, Take off your jacket. Mm, that is a good idea. No, it's okay if you don't let me in. I'm just going to keep moving. I'm not going to beg or bother you. Look. Mm, dang, I didn't know that she didn't want to take off her jacket last time. So now... Ugh. No, I'm letting them all in, remember? Ah, oh, crap. Come on in. Thank you. The ceiling is a bit low here, but I'll be fine. Uh, I think it's kind of funny doing these little voices. Just trying to make up stuff in my head. I don't even know. How fortunate we are. We've witnessed us and the consequences of human passions. The earth would be cleansed. The sun would do its work. And we would go to a new clean world. That's the fucking good news. You're scaring me, bro. You're scaring me. I don't know why you at my front door doing this right now. Are you out of your mind? Listen to me. I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun bends and bends us for a reason. It makes sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things, and now the sun is angry. Give his hits to us. And now that's a good thing. All our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. You mean we all have to die? Nah. Sins will fade away. 
The sun may die, but we will live. There will be no more deaths, no more stealing, no more greedy bastards who can't sell me what I want for a fair price. Can you imagine such a thing? Do you realize what this is all about? Oh, man, this is... Uh, I don't want to let him in, bro. Look at the armpit sweat, bro. He gonna be in here stinking. He ain't finna wash his clothes up in my house, because once you wash your clothes in somebody's house, then technically you kind of live there. Oh, man. I gotta let him in. I gotta let him in. I told y'all, he might be nice in the kitchen, though. All right. I can tell you a lot more about this. Do you have any beer? I forgot to ask. Yo, homie think this is a house party. He pulling up talking about you got some beer. Oh, man, he's in here. I'm about to have a house full, bro. The dead will something. You smell decay and death. Oh, wait, was that me? What did I say at the bottom? Somebody's dying in my crib, bro. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to this situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff mem members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. Okay, yeah, yeah, we read this part. Let us move on to other news. Bro, why do I read better when I talk in an accent? When I talk in my regular voice, I be stumbling under words. I be having to read it three or four times. I be saying the next word that's not even the next word. It's in the next sentence. <laughs> I be like, yo, what is wrong with my reading? Okay, cabinet, who's in here? Nobody. I saw a message at the bottom that said something about I smell death and decay. Who died in my crib, bro? I'm telling you, it's that girl that looked like the Walking Dead zombie. Oh, man. Oh, this must be the sickly room, bro. Oh, let's talk to her. I needed to check on you. What do you want to check? Mm, wait, she's hiding her hands. Wait, that might be a clue. She's hiding her hands and her teeth. Nails, I'll show you. Oh, looks like I chipped them all off or something. But take a look anyway. Oh no! It's her, she's one of them! Ugh. Oh my goodness, bro. Why didn't I think of that? Do you think my fingernails fit the side of a visitor? Oh snap, what do I do? Yo! <laughs> Yo, where did I get a gun from? Oh, snap. Yo, I did not expect this. I did not expect this. What is happening right now? Uh, shoot or hear me out? Mm. Mm. You know what? I let you in my house the first time and you didn't tell me about your nails? Hold on, I'm here. Out. I'm here. Out. I'm here. Out. You know, I'm so tired of living. I just shot, but why is she still standing? Meanwhile, in the other houses, someone must have killed someone, I guess. Why is it like that? Ever wonder? Oh, damn! Yeah, did you want something? Oh, wait. Should I check on him too? Oh, this is getting interesting. This is getting interesting. How many victims are there? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Millions? Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. And no one will tell you, so you don't piss your pants in fear. No matter what number you come up with, triple it. That's probably closer to the actual number of victims. Oh my goodness. And then he sits back down next to the freaking... Oh my god. Yo, who's gonna clean that up? Is homie gonna clean that up? Or do I have to go in there? <laughs> Nobody's in the cabinet. Yo, homegirl, you good? Uh, hopefully this will all be over soon. 
I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Oh yeah, she does have her mouth closed the whole time. I should have been checking on them a long time ago. Teeth. Uh, are you gonna make decisions based on teeth? Uh-oh, I've had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I ever been to one? God, I can't even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Oh, got some pearly whites, girl. <laughs> Definitely didn't see those teeth coming out of that face. You know what? This isn't even like the real fake looking teeth. This just looks like some regular white teeth. Hmm. I don't know. Does that mean she's a visitor? Uh, does that, do I fit the description? That can't be. Oh my gosh, I'm about to shoot her too. I can't be a visitor, yes? You know what? Get him up out of here. We're shooting. Please, please don't. Oh my gosh. Bro, <laughs> why you got your toes out, fam? And your stomach is hanging out. What is going on here? Oh boy, you just chilling in the bathroom, taking up space. What if I had to use the bathroom, bro? You gonna move? We can see his hands though, and we can see his uh his face. Uh, never mind. I can't talk to him. Oh, cause I don't have enough energy. I still need two. Um, okay, we gotta go to sleep. That's what it is. Oh my goodness, bro. We just murdered two freaking people. Oh, this guy again. How's it going there? Is everything okay? Wait, what do you want? Listen, eh? Are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some, driving some away. I'm alone. I'm gonna tell him I'm alone this time. Because the other time I pressed, I have another uh, person staying here and it kind of glitched on me. So I don't know if that was, uh-oh. Ah, oh God. It's hard to be alone. What's wrong with you? Come with me, young man. Oh man, this is the second time. Okay, so either way I have to go with him Okay. No one will know what happened when the last guest arrived. The house is left unoccupied for a long time. After your terrible disappearance, everyone avoids the abandoned house. Super. Once the guy comes to pretty much take me, the next person that comes to the house, they, if it's abandoned, then they don't get to come in and see that I've killed the two people in there. So I don't know if that's a good ending or or what. All right, so let's check this guy's teeth and we actually uh, made it back to this point. Did you see the news? Show your teeth. Do you want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. Yeah, okay, nice regular teeth, yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck with me with your tests. I'm not a visitor. Okay, he might be a good guy. Who knows? Let's go check on Diane in here. Diane, hopefully this will all be over soon. Um, I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Um, show me your teeth. Uh, are you going to make decisions based on teeth? Uh-oh, I've had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I even been to one? I can't even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Yeah, pearly whites. Get her on up out of here. Does that, do I fit the description? This can't be. I can't be a visitor, yes? Mm, I'm gonna hear her out. No, 
It's just a coincidence, right? How can I be a visitor? It can't be. I can't be, can it? I remember my life. Nothing in it. Nothing like that. Thank you. Oh, I let her live. The last guy, I, I heard him out, but I still shot him. Drink our beer, go to sleep. We actually have two good people in the house. That's what I like to hear, baby. So I guess it's good that we actually check them early so that we're not wasting so much energy on the new people that come in and trying to check them while checking the old people that come in. So we're gonna check them as they come in to the house. All right, we know she's already one, but we're gonna let her in anyway so I can kill her. Come on in, girl. Come on in the house. We got plenty of room for you. Even though we know she's a visitor, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, we know he's one too. Come on in. All right, and we can let two visitors in a day, it looks like. Oh, wait, who's this? Too bad, maybe we're all participants too. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need you to think now, maybe I'll see you later. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. The dead could be the alien dude that pops up last. He came to tell the truth. He will not be believed. I will not be believed. I don't. We have one, two, three, four, five things of energy. And let's go in here and check the girl. Whoa! Whoa! What? Oh my God! Yo, what happened? Did she kill the dude? The tall dude, he's supposed to be in here. I need to check on you. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands, hands, hands for sure. Now I'll show you, huh? Looks like I chipped them all or something. But take a look anyway. Mm-hmm, yep. Do you think my fingernails fit the sign of a visitor? Yeah, they do. And you done killed my homeboy. You getting up out of here tonight, homegirl. Nope, I'm not hearing her out either. Ah! You know what? Yes, sir! Pack her up just like she packed up my homie. <laughs> she packed up my homie. Oh my goodness. Yo, this game is getting, <laughs> it's getting insane. Okay, we know she's good. Let's check on this other guy. We have not used any energy on him yet. I listen to your words, human. Speak. Mm, I need to check on him. What do you want to check? Teeth or hands? Um, for him, it'll probably be teeth, right? Show you my teeth. And I've stood up for my troops with them. I've defended all my troops. See for yourself what I'm really doing here. Ugh. I mean, they are pearly white, but they're not perfect. I saved my teeth with beer. It's good for calcium. Without it, you'd have lost your teeth long ago. Mmm. Wait, why did I pull a gun on him? He doesn't have perfect teeth. I mean, they're nice, but he's still losing them. We haven't heard him out before. Let's hear him out. Understandable, of course. There's so much going on right now, but live, we live on. We live on. Oh man, okay. So I'm hoping that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass because I heard him out. Because the next person I let in, if they go in the bathroom, he might end up killing them. Man, what is the, what is the strategy to this game, bro? Matter of fact, I still have, wait, wait, wait. Can I go check him again? Yes, because I still have uh, three things of health left. So maybe I should check on him again. I'll check the hands this time. No taboo, my friend. Watch my nails as long as you like. I've trained myself to get useful sunlight with them and open the beer caps. Oh, okay, pretty nails. Nice. He passed the test. He passed the vibe check. So now that we got two things of energy left, let's drink a beer, go to sleep, and... 
we live, we live another day. Oh, it's him again. Oh my God, why do I keep forgetting what to tell him? You're supposed to tell him that you're not alone, correct? How's it going here? Is everything okay? Listen, eh? Are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune, promising salvation to some and driving some away. Ah, I have other people here. You're lucky tonight. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms, but who knows what will happen tomorrow. Oh, okay, so that's how you do it. I get it now, I get it now, I get it now. Okay, so when that guy comes, if I have visitors in my house, he'll take me away. But if that guy comes and I don't have visitors in my house and I've vetted those people that are in the house, then when he comes, he'll leave me alone. We making progress, baby. I, I, I think I like this game, bro. Yo! Can I rest at your place? Oh wait, she sounds like she's like really tired. Can I rest at your place? Where did you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. I'm very tired. If I don't get some rest, I'll just collapse from exhaustion. Is your partner sick? He kind of looks sick. He kind of looks like a, a dead creature. That's my husband. He died. What? Whoa, whoa, ma'am. <laughs> we might have to bury him in the back before you come up in here. I can't bury him properly now. It's pointless to let him go now. <clears throat> oh, man. What do you mean it's pointless to let him go? You're just gonna walk around with him on your back? What is wrong with this lady? Yo, at some point, it's time to let go. Yo, you about to have it smelling like dead folks up in this freaking... Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, the goal was to let everybody in and then decipher which one was the freaking uh, visitors. So we're gonna, we gotta let her in. I don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. Bro. Yo, uh, uh, Among Us? Among Us? Why is his face white like that? Why he look like Jim Carrey a little bit? Go see what's going on, fucking hell. How's it going down there? Uh, what do you need? Just curious, that's all. Actually, I've got a little scheme. You could easily make some money. With the sun feeling so good, you can make money without even trying. And now all the losers are scared of something. But you just need to hustle, bitch. Wait, wait, what? What are you offering? Survive. What else is there? We gotta make plans while we can. To hell with the sun. Keep moving, you know? Let's go, shall we? Let him in. Come on. Oh, now we're talking. Finally, someone with some sense, bitch. Bruh, why is he calling me a bitch? I mean, we can throw hands. We, I can open this door right now. We can squabble on the front porch. <laughs> but what this dude's problem is, you gonna call me a bitch and then ask me to come in my career, bro? What the? Uh-oh. Who is it? Oh, man, who is this? Bill Nye the Science Guy? It's so quiet at night. Hi, can I come in? Have you been watching the house? What? Uh -huh. No, of course not. It's rare for a house full of people to be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Someone just screams with unbearable sorrow. Who are you? 
I'm a traveling doctor now. Hospitals are chaotic. I highly advise against going there. I've operated on people. I'm a surgeon. There wasn't enough funding at our hospital, so I've done a lot of other jobs that aren't typically mine. Now I just go around helping whoever I can. Well, we damn sure need a doctor up in here for all these dead bodies, so come on in, my boy. Come on in. Keep it quiet. I hope I can help someone. All right. Do what you gotta do, player. Oh. Bro, this house is about to be full. There's another person at the. Bro, somebody else just knocked on the freaking door. It seems no one else will come tonight. Okay. Yeah, we already got a house full. I still got to go over and um, I got to vet all these other people that came into the house. How many did I just let in? Like four of them? How much energy do I have? One, two, three, four. I got enough for about five conversations. This is going to take two to drink some beer. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The Valiant FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concerns that the identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indicators of visitors, intensely irritated blood red eyes. The, di the information was discovered through experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA experts, the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now, let's move on to other news. All right, bloodshot red eyes. So look for somebody who's wearing glasses. That makes sense. Oh, it's actually cleaned up in here now. Maybe the doctor came in here and uh, got it nice and clean. There's no way there's like four people in one room. There's no way. There's no way. My boy, what's, what's good in here, man? Got you a PB and J sandwich? <laughs> what a bitch. Bro, what? <laughs> Why is this dude keep calling me a bitch in my own house? Um, I need to check you. Yeah, yeah, let's check. Well, now we can already see his eyes. We can't really see his hands or his teeth. Um, let's do teeth. Let's do teeth. I can show you some teeth, bitch. Got, bro. My brother-in-law got his teeth done. He's got smashed. Guess what? Lost all his freaking teeth. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you. Uh oh. Ugh. Okay. Good, huh? What are you doing? Oh, they're not perfect. I hear him out. I hear him out. I get it, of course. All the stress with the visitors and stuff. But you're doing it all for us. Anyway, oh, no grudges. Won't tell you in, in bullshit. All right. His teeth are not perfect. I'm assuming that it's only like the real perfect looking teeth. Because why would I kill someone with like decent teeth? look like that yo no something's wrong something's wrong why does he look like that she's been looking like that but he doesn't nah let's talk to him oh man where did this blood come from on his freaking robe uh wait 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 should I check on him let's check Eyes we can see, we can't see his hands. Uh, let's go teeth on the old man. He might have his dentures in, who knows? Mmm, perfect teeth. We might have to get the doctor up out of here, cuz. Perfect teeth, eh? I had a friend of mine put them on for free, and I operated on him a while ago. I wonder how he is now. Nope, get him up out of here. Wait, you're making a mistake. I heal people. 
Dang, I just did a whole different voice. <laughs> nah, we still gotta get you up out of here. Yep, pack him up. No, 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 we don't wanna talk to her. No, 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 no. Dang, I wanna waste energy on her too? Let's do uh, what's causing the cataclysm. I don't know, I really don't know. I don't know, God, why are you doing this to us? Why are we suffering all this pain? Have mercy on us, destroy the sun. Leave the darkness and the cold, please. I can't take it anymore. Hey, homegirl, I'm going to need for you to get up out of this corner go take these bags out to the trash and the dump. Why am I still hearing like a radio frequency? Like a whisper. That's not good, bro. Damn! All three of y'all in the back. What the? Um, yo, is she trying to preserve the dead body? What is happening right now? Oh, I can't, I can't even talk to him. Maybe then I don't have enough, uh, enough energy. I got four bars of energy and I still don't have enough. We've already talked to him. Okay. Um, bro, I'm hearing like weird noises right now. Okay. I might have enough to, to look his, look at his hands real quick. Let me see. Uh, what up, bitch? I need to check on you, sir. What do you want to check? Uh, we already saw his teeth. His eyes are, we can see his eyes. Um, and let's do hands. Wait. So can I only look at the eyes if they have, um, if they have glasses on or something? Or can I look at his eyes now when I can actually see his face? Let's try the eyes. My eyes have been itchy these days. Do you think it's from the sun or what? Oh, nah, son. Yeah, he getting up out of here. Ah, it's just some kind of disease. Nope. Nope, we already heard you out. Bitch, you suck my d ah! <laughs> Yo! He said SMD before he went out like that. Oh my gosh. Yo, homegirl, I'm gonna need for you to come in here and, you know, add another one to that trash bag. Yo, she's still sitting there, bro. Take out the trash. Okay, so we're getting out doppelgangers, baby. Let's go. Yo, this game is getting good, bro. It's getting juicy. Let's go to bed. Bro, I love the concept. You've done a lot for those you let in. Too, but too much blood has been spilled. You are too dangerous to stay in this house. You must leave. You are being driven out of your own home by people fearing for their safety. What do you mean? How do they even know that I shot people in this house? You didn't live one day and burned by the scorching sun outside. Oh, bro. So I still lost. Oh. We've been playing for like over an hour and a half. So we're just going to end it right there, bro. We're going to end it right there. Hey, man, tell me what y'all think of this game. I really enjoy it. It's a lot different from uh, That's my, Not My Neighbor because it kind of like builds up a little bit better. This is only the demo version, too. That's crazy. They got a full game coming out. Yeah, y'all be on the lookout for it. We definitely want to play it whenever it comes out. Hey, subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. We're trying to get up to 100K subscribers, man. We... We've been around 80 to 85 for way too long. So we got to we gotta make that push, man. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.